Oh my god! Alright, so uh, just joining 22 minutes into my show, and I just forgot to get your on. So, whatever, you're gonna have a nice little, you know, hour and 40 minutes of the Pitts Creek Rock, and I'm about to go back on. Yes, indeed, Johnny Come Home. That was off Pretty Says Eyes' new record, Volume 3 from Castle Face Records. Oh, yes, here in 2019. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. I always love these guys. These guys are always cool, no matter what. The Pretty Size. So I'll give it to them. You know what? If you haven't already, go find these guys out. It's Pretty Size. Before that was off. Don't forget the exclamation point because it's off with an exclamation point. Therefore, you have to pronounce it when you pronounce the band name properly. It is off. So off. With their song Darkness is off their Force 4 EPs that came out in 2010. It's a release of both from Vice and from Burger Records. I just put them both down. Before that was Iggy Pop with his song Fall in Love with Me. <clears throat> it was off his Lust for Life that came out uh, in 1977, actually. It's kind of funny. I was thinking about that. I didn't realize. I know the Lust for Life album existed kind of in the ether, but I've been listening to his later stuff you know Iggy Pop in general and I was like <clears throat> sitting there I'm like well it's kind of weird to consider that's his later stuff when most of the artists that sound like him came and started in like 76 to 78 like that kind of time frame so it's funny that Iggy Pop's later career was in, in 77 so I always find that funny even though he has a later later career as in like last year kind of stuff but ignoring all that Iggy Pop's cool he's always going to be cool no matter what even if he's technically a sellout or not yeah, so this is kind of funny. You know what? I never got to say the random vinyl of the week. So the, the random vinyl of the week, if you don't already know, basically the every time I uh, talk, I have music playing in the background. That's just a random vinyl that I pulled out of our shelves here. This random vinyl of the week is Waxing Poetics with their um, 1986 album Hermitage. And the first song is Beauty and the Beatitudes. If you knew Sushi, I think is playing right now. I don't care. So, if it sounds cool, cool, but for the most part, it's just background music. So, that's the whole point of this. It's the background music of it all, and it's to spread some knowledge of some, some random vinyl that we have here. And it's a good excuse for me to keep, you know, doing stuff and all that. And I have to tell you guys later. I was LARPing this weekend, met Jeff Goldblum. It was a fun time indeed. But in the meantime, here's some mega churches and the Oi Scouts coming up next. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Jeff Goldblum, he's a flirt, for sure. But not with me. Got our boobs big enough yet. Can you guys see me well? Don't worry, I'll tilt this bad boy. I'm tilting this bad boy. That way you can see me better. There we go. Oh, almost, almost, almost. Bad boy, you nearly fell out. Yeah, that was pretty cool, right? Good. Good evening, guys. Nice little tricep room. That was an accident. I just I stopped using my portable hard drive. I'd rather just char I have the there's a charger right here instead of up there where I normally put the the phone. So that is why you guys are over here. Yeah, uh, this is it. Oh, self released. That was joyous. I'll just put a rock. This isn't quite punk yet, you know what I'm saying? Punkish, but not punk.
have to actually listen to this. I'll enjoy it. Have I played low yet? Boots of the Beat Down by the Oi Scouts. Sounds fun. with their song Night Vision off their tight new dimensions. Oh, is that an alternate title? Interesting. Oh, that's the single. Got it. That might be. Oh 
That was Mean Jeans with the song Night Vision is off their tight new dimensions that came out in 2016 from Fat Records. Fat Records. Oh. Before that, we had the Oi Scouts. They were playing the song Victims off Boots for the Beatdown that came out in 1999 from uh, Squig, Squig Tone and Working Class Records. Those two different separate records, you know what I'm saying? That was cool. Uh, what else? And before that was Mega Church with the song Ex Exorcism is off their. Well, I don't. I didn't put Mega Church that. Yeah, this is off their Mega Church album from uh, 2010. They actually released it themselves, so they're cool. Automatically, anyone who releases their own stuff is cool in my book. So you automatically, you automatically know that Mega Church is super cool. And actually, the Oi Scouts. Uh, the reason I played them is because I forgot to promote a nice little uh, backyard occurrence that was happening here in Riverside. It, it was literally, like, actually pretty close by my house. It was pretty cool. There's a whole bunch of punk fans, including the Oi Scouts and some other guys, uh, that were off, like, Pierce Street in Riverside, and they're just, like, in in behind, you know, a, a company little thing in a parking lot, essentially. So that was really cool. Really enjoyed it. It was, like, two Saturdays ago. Not last Saturday, but the Saturday before. But anyways, I think they're probably still going around doing stuff. So keep an eye out for those guys. Again, the Oi Scouts. All right, up next, we have The Bad Brains playing, of course, Joshua's song. So, of course, I had to have played it, or I have to play it. I haven't played it yet. I actually uh, didn't realize they made a song called that, so here is that. I've listened to a lot of their stuff. I didn't realize that song came up. Oh, well, so there's that, and then I'm playing some other cool flashback songs. We'll see. Most of these songs, actually, I think most of these songs today are going to be old. So oof, we'll see about the whole contemporary today. But we'll worry, more contemporary next week, at least, you know, for the, if, the, if you don't feel satisfied today in all the, the old flashback stuff. So anyways, here's Joshua's song by The Bad Brains. Rock for Light. My name is Josh, obviously, right? You know. Philly. Yeah. This is Morin's first album uh, with their song Philip Philippius, I think. I forgot. They say in the song, and I forgot how they pronounce it, so that's why I just, yeah. Oh, it wasn't released on the... It was. But not till later. PBC. It says PBC right there. Philip Hughes. Yeah. That's stabbing. The knife. Nothing else. Nothing else. And 
this is Super Chunk Precision Auto from 1993's uh, On the Mount. 92? 92, I'm sorry. Standing by. Hey everyone, 80.3 FM, KU Sarah, and Recite the Blitzkrieg Rock is here every Tuesday nights from 7 to 9 p.m. That was Super Chunk with their song Precision Auto. It was off their 1982 on the Mel. That was from Matador Records. Before that was Mourn with their uh, song uh, Philip Hughes. I think that's how you pronounce it, which is amazing. It's, what an interesting word. And it was off their 2014 Mourn album that came out from Sonace and Capture Track Records. And before that was Bad Brains with the epic song, Joshua's song. So I had to play it because, of course, it is af named after me. So, mm -mm. Of course, I love a song that's named after me. It's so beautiful. Uh, mm. It could also be named after the genocide guy in the Bible, but he, who knows. That was off Rock 4 Life that actually was originally self-released. I'm sure there's some cool history behind it, but I really didn't listen to this record before uh, this last like week and a half. So anyways... Yeah, it came out in 1983 officially by PVC Records. Boop. Up next, we got some shellac and jawbox, gang ring, everything here. So stay tuned here at 80.3 FM KC and Riverside. Stick around for all the cool and awesome stuff. Aren't you just pumped? If you're not pumped, then what are you doing? You got to be pumped at all times, even the car and the house, everything. Fixed it. Compliant? Compliant? Compliant. I'm sure that's a word that means something. Shalak. Dude, incredible. Yeah, touch and go. Math rock. Yeah, I can see it. I'm actually gonna get some water, so listen to Shellac Compliance.
Jawbox is on Grip off their Grip album that came out in 1991. Oh yeah, so what was up with your car? Uh huh? What was up with your car? I'm sorry? Your car. Are you into pickup parts? Oh, I just, I, I'm, um, I had about three or four items that are just, you know how like the door handle's broken and the glove box makes stop doesn't work. And, and, and it just all adds up. So it, 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 it drives you crazy, you know, a little stuff. You know, so I got a bunch of little parts like the door handle. You actually know how to fix the car and all that? Yeah, so otherwise the thing's running pretty good, so I can't complain. That's one thing that I've uh, missed out on, for sure. I'm sorry? That's one thing I've missed out on, is like, self-repairing and all that. So I'm like, you know. Yeah, so I don't actually really know how to repair my own stuff, but you know, it's not like it hasn't. I'm sorry, I can't hear you. As, as in, uh, it's been, uh, I don't actually know how to like quite uh, repair a lot of the stuff in my own car and stuff. So it's cool that, you know. You just get in there, yeah, get I mean, dirty, I, get your hands I mean, off. You know, the bloom is off the rose for me with cars, but I mean, you know, I mean, I did, I've done all that stuff for years, and you know, I mean, I mean, you know, back in high school, we used to work on Mustangs, two eighty nines, and all that stuff, helping my friend put in a headers and all that stuff we used to do. And I've been working on my own cars for years. I, I, I my son and I put a transmission in his Honda actually once. I mean, I, I hadn't done that for years. He did most of it. But to tell you the truth, I just assume somebody else work on one. I'm just, you know, I'm at that point to where I don't mind working on them, but yeah. if I have to, but you know, so I just, just continue, I just, I'm just constantly maintaining them. That's good because, you know, I'm sure in the long run it might be cheaper just to keep a car up than just to buy new ones every so often, you know? Well, I mean, I had a friend who, I mean, I, I, I mean, I'm driving a 20 year old Honda and it's got 300,000 miles on it, it's running great. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm not going to complain, lock on wood. The thing is that, you know, if I paid, it's been, I'm sorry. You're good, no, you're good. Next song, I'm, I'm just making sure it smooths okay. in well. I've been, uh, you know, it was paid for, you know, like 10 years ago. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, so, so like, it's completely paid off. So you're, you, everything yeah, else, so there's I mean, no like, extra pay on it, yeah. I mean, I had a friend who used to, Oh, I don't want to get it. Uh, he used to lease cars every three years. <laughs> and uh, oh, I get rid of them just when they start to have problems, and I get myself a brand new car. And, and I said, it seems like it's bad for everything the environment, your wallet, everything. Well, I, I just, you're just doomed to making a car payment forever. You know, if you you're that. stuck in a, stuck in a un unescapable loop. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, you're never going to, you're always going to be making a payment. I, I, I want, I'd like to own my cars once in a while, you know what I mean? Like, so exactly. Like, so, you know, but I don't know, we'll see. I just, uh, the ticket part drives me crazy because uh, it's such a rip off. You know? I mean, like, they, you know, they, they buy these cars from little old ladies for 250 bucks, then they part it out on a lot for 2,000 bucks. You know, like they sell the engine for 500 bucks and they can't fish it for another 500 mm -hmm. bucks. It's all, you know. That's how they get you, right? Yeah, you know, so they're really, and now they're all, uh, they're all owned by a conglomerate, but LKQ or wherever the hell they are, owns a, owns a whole bunch of them. So they're consolidated into a... And now they're under one umbrella corporation. Yeah. It's forever. Like, it's like everything else, you know, it's just corporate. <sighs> It's stupid.
Well, I gotta run anyway. Any, anything new on the what, what's happening to this place? Nothing new, I guess. Uh, so far, it's just a whole bunch of. Uh, oh, hold on. Oopsies. A whole bunch of what? I accidentally just pressed the wrong button, Paul, and it got me out of the. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, no, no, no. It's not My your fault. fault. No, I accidentally just. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, this place. Uh, no, I. Uh, so far, it looks like there's just gonna be construction all around us, but. Nothing else besides well, I've been that. I'll be able to get back to doing it. You're good. Thanks. Uh, see you, Bob. You know, have a fun time. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll probably run into you again, I guess. I'm, 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 just, I'm just around. Usually I'm out here later at night. But, you Oh, that was a cool guy. Did you, I don't know if you guys saw him. I probably should have introduced Bob as a old, old DS DJ. So he's been around for a bit. You know, he's doing his own thing and all that. So it's cool. Gang of four. Or gang green. Gang green. Flaming Groovies, don't put me on. Hopefully you're uh, nice and enjoying the Flaming Groovies. That was uh, Don't Put Me On off their Flaming Groovies, or sorry, Great Groovies Greatest Grooves. <laughs> All the way back in the 80s, 1989 specifically. That's what it was from Sire Records. Before that, we had some Gang Green. I mean, I didn't actually have Gang Green on me. I just literally, that's what was on the radio. Gang Green, the song Kill Kami is off their 1997 preschools released by Tang Records. I think uh, there's an earlier iteration. Oh, well, if it was, what, no big deal. Before that was Jawbox with their song Grip, that's G-R-I-P. And the reason why I'm spelling that out is because their album that was released with the song on it was from 1981. It was called Grip with G-R-I-P-P-E. Grip. I think. I don't know. Maybe it's just French. That's why it's silent. It's grip. It's, I'm sure it's a weird, artsy play on words that... I am too unsophisticated to figure it out, but it's all right. Oh, I just did this again, didn't I? Cancel. Oh, all right, cool. I keep on. I just wrecked the stupid, the st stupid radioactivity like twice in a row now. Yes, if you don't know, I, I if you ever are like, hey, what the heck was that guy playing? 
at, I don't know, 10.52 p.m. Then you can find out I have everything logged in and ready to go. So you can just be like, oh, that's what that, that is, or that's what that band was, or, you know. All you have to go is kuzero.org, go to playlists, and you can find anything you want. You can also just call in at 951-827-5827 to find out exactly, directly from me. But of course, I mean, then you have to actually talk to a person. That's weird. Anyways, the last song before, I was playing Shellac with their song Comp uh, Compliant. Compliant. Is that really? Is that how you spell compliant? I guess it is. Off their Dude Incredible. That was from Touch and Go Records from 2014. All right, we have about five more minutes at the top of the hour, so I'm actually going to play a new song by the Go to Beds. These guys are pretty cool. They're from Sub Pop Records and stuff, so I'm going to play. Uh, I think is the first song on the list here, which, yeah, these guys are too artsy, man, is a Cal Kerr, so I'm going to probably play that. You guys have fun here. Keeps your 8.3 with them. <laughs> oh, it is Cal Kerr the Harlem. That begins at 30. Yes, yeah, one way to put it. Stretch those quads.
Stand by, 20 seconds. And this was the Goat Event song, its newest song, Kelker the Hound is off there. Kelker the Hound, or wait, no, no, it was, oh, oh no, I better edit that. It was off there, Debt Begins at 30, from Sub Pop Records, and that came out this, uh, this last month, I'm um, here, Sub Pop Records, mm, the Goat Beds. Yeah, so debt, debt begins, debt always begins at 30, doesn't it? I mean, that's when you start taking out, you know, credit cards and start having a family. I don't know, maybe there's more art to it, but that's the name of the record, regardless. Boom. So anyways, that was what we were just listening to, but guess what, guys? It is the top of the hour here at KUCR 88.3 FM. So, let me tell you guys a few things. First off, thank you guys for tuning in here at 88.3 FM. Second off, you could be tuning in through our mobile app. You can download the iOS store through TuneIn Radio. Or we stream online also at KUCR.org. So you can always, you know, find us there. That's where you can find playlists, showtimes, news updates. Everything is up there also. But also don't forget to follow us on social media at KUCR883FM on Instagram and Facebook, all that other good stuff. Or if you just want to follow me, the Blitzkrieg Rock, that's uh, B-L-I-T-Z. K R E E G, space rock, and that's also you know on Facebook and all that good stuff. You know, I'm sure you can find that around. Mm -hmm. This random vinyl of the week is Waxing Poetics, 1986 Hermitage. So that's the song, or this is the album I'm going to be playing in the background while I every time I talk. So it's a pretty much a different song, but you know I've been playing the A side, I guess, right now. So that's cool. That's the, the random vinyl I pulled out of the station here. So that's the random vinyl of the week. And I might have teased earlier, so that's why I got to say it now. Guess what, guys? In a weird, out of context, I larked with Jeff Goldblum, which might be like a weird sentence coming from anyone besides the local college radio station host who does punk stuff and silly stuff all the time. But yes, it was very weird indeed. I uh, uh, mar LARP with Twin Mask. It's awesome. It's fun. It's uh, you know, it's exciting. It's invigorating. All the good stuff. As of course, nerding out should be. It's like you know, Skyrim or D and D, but live. But uh, we were there for a night. They were like, "Hey, yo, guess what? Nat Geographic is gonna be just coming around filming." And we're like, "Whoa, that's pretty interesting." So of course, you know, we're pumped for that. Uh, next thing you know, uh, Saturday comes. Saturday afternoon, there's a a, a mod and event happening where. In game, uh, that we're supposed to escort this Sir Darius across town because he's uh, trying to get assassinated. He's part of the amalgamation. Long story, but anyways, anyways, guess what happens? We walk into NPC camp. We're all huddled around, and out walks Jeff Goldblum in costume, and it was the weirdest thing because if I didn't know him from you know Jurassic Park and all those other cool films, I would just been like, oh, that's weird, uh, or that's normal. That's just some guy. He's a nerd-looking guy who's a uh, Dressed up in full gear, why not? That's that's cool, and a little robe and everything. Not like full gear, but you know, like a fancy outfit and all that, and high heels, all that good stuff. But of course, it was the famous actor. Now, apparently, he's uh, been doing uh, like a series of National Geographic's, wandering around, doing weird stuff, like swimming with elderly people and all that, you know, at a retirement home. So, uh, you might be able to see your neighborhood friendly, curly blonde mustache guy in a National Geographic film featuring Jeff Goldblum. All right, I would. The only actually photo I have uh, on my phone is uh, a photo of a staff member proposing to his girlfriend with Joe Goldblum in the background. So that's uh, that's actually the only cool photo I have from the event featuring him. I didn't want to be a weirdo, you know, because there's so many people who are just like, oh my god, I just want to increase my following by taking a selfie with you, and I didn't want to be one of those guys. I'm cooler than that, right? So I didn't end up doing that, anyways. Here's a station ID. Here's a little PSA station ID, and then we're gonna keep going with this awesome punk show. Here, this is KUCR eighty eight point three FM. Here
da 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 Sounds are clean. Soft white out, alright. Bat by screeching weasels.
I gotta back it out to 16 seconds now. I wanna keep dancing though. everyone, 80.3 FM, KU, Sierra and Rosetta Blue Screen Rock here, playing some Screeching Weasels with their song Dingbat off that album that I've actually just been playing, and I've been jamming out to a lot recently, it was a Booga Dabba Doo Booga Dabba Doo Booga Dabba Da, I think, maybe, something in that ballpark from 1988, and that was off re, uh, uh, Roadkill and Wet Spots Records, before that we were listening, or I was, uh, I was jamming out to at least, The Addicts with their song Steamroller, baby money. My baby got run over by, in quotes. Viva la Revolucion is uh, the name of the record from 1982 from Fallout Records. Or, I wonder if I, I gotta say the album. The album and the record label. There we go. I'm gonna say album and label so that way I can just stop saying record altogether, but it's so easy. I just, you know, it's the word that first popped up in my head. And before that was X with the song Sex and Dying in a High Society. It was uh, from Slash Records, 1980. It was, uh, of course, their Los Angeles album from 1980. All right, cool. We're going to keep steamrolling through this. Up next, we got some Meat Pubs. We got seven seconds. We got Dillinger 4. We got all this cool stuff coming up next. We also got Mets's. I'm going to play Mets sometime tonight, and Knott's. I'm probably going to end the show with some the Knott's' new album. N-O-T-S, not K-O-N-T-S. Anyways, so here we go. Some Meat Puppets. Split myself up in two.
wants to get the pump. I'm gonna get the loot to get the pump. All right, we might have steered off the path a little bit uh, from punk to post, punk to pop, punk and all that good stuff. But that was cool still. That was Dillinger 4. Dillinger. That was Dillinger 4. The song Who Didn't Kill Bambi. And that was off there. Versus God that came out in 2000 from Hopeless Records. Before that, we were listening to 7 Seconds with the song Sati uh, Guraya. Gura? <sighs> Why did it make sound so pronounced? Anyways, that was from Soul Force Revolution from 1989. Restless Records, and before that was the Meat Puppets with their song Split Myself in Two from Meat Puppets, the second from their 1984 album. That was the name of the 1984 album, two, literally just the number two. From SST Records, back when they were putting out some good stuff, and they actually made it pay people a little bit. <clears throat> cool, all that good, just fun stuff. The one thing I wanted to add, someone was asking, then I was like, all right, cool, might as well talk about it a little bit more. Uh, basically, it was actually really funny. If you ever get to meet Jeff Goldblum in your lifetime, uh, he, I don't think he's ever actually acting. I think he literally he just talks like that, that, in that, you know, geeky kind of gold bloomy kind of way. So he walks up. He's like, oh, oh you're going to be our guard. All right. Good, good, good. You know, whatever. I can't I can't actually do his acting yet. Maybe one day when I practice a bit more. Oh, another fun thing. I didn't realize he was going to be taller than me. I didn't. Uh, I'm 6'3". I had to look up at him. That, that creeped me out a little bit. He also 
Uh, it was a big flirt. It was really funny. He looked me straight in the eye. I was literally like, like right here. I was like, yeah, uh, like, you know, half a foot away from him. And he looks at the girl next to me. And he's like, you know, does that slow kiss on her hand there again. That was funny. I'm sure that that chick's never going to wash her hand ever again. Anyways, back to the actual music at hand. That was fun. It was nerdy. And I got it all off my system now. Boof. All right. So we have The Rub with their song, The Death of Pop. And then we have Tervit Cadet in Corners. All right. Yeah. Again, not about a lot. Not enough about our, all this fun. Punk music has to come first. Here's The Rub. I'm satisfied with the whole large Jeff Goldblum experience. It's just surreal. I don't think it felt, it didn't feel real to me at all. Not in the slightest. Not in the freaking slightest. gospel. Happy good records. Please don't tell me about the death of pop. Oh well, yeah, this is the death of pop by the rub. How do you pronounce the guitar? Self released, you are. Harvey. Oh, Harvey. That's the most prominent. Josh. Oh, I'm doing sweet. How about you? Sweet. All right. Shoot me. For a sin of what? Conformity? The song's Positive Outlet, or the name of their album Positive Outlet? Alright, cool. Check that one out. <laughs> uh, it's cool, yeah, no, of course. I always, uh, the only reason I wouldn't play it is if I listen to it, I go, oh, that song, that, that one lyric is kind of iffy or something. All right, thanks, Dave, for uh, calling in everything, you know? You too, all right, peace.
Okay. Corners with the song Pressure is what I'm playing right now. Everyone, 80.3 FM, KUCR, in here in Riverside at 80.3 FM is that, that cool little frequency that we, you know, play on. And we got to play on some sort of frequency, of course. And so that frequency is that. Boom. What we're just listening to was Corners with their song Pressures off their Pressure self, uh, I guess, single. that came out in 2014 for Mono Records. Before that, I was playing Jervit Kedet, their song uh, Lihan Ilot. Some Finnish band uh, from 2009's album, Iminsin Poika, Pedon Poika. I'm sure that means something. From the record label, what does it say here? Kameset Levit. Boom, I think I, I just did Finnish, guys. What's up? I'm cool now, right? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe, or uh, maybe not. Oh, well, as long as you consider yourself cool. Isn't that just what matters? You know what? Nerds are like the coolest thing in the world right now. Do you know why? Actually, I don't know why. I think it's probably just because of all these nerd parents from the 80s that are all of a sudden making money. It's probably what it is. Anyways, before then, I was playing... Who, who was I playing right here? Oh, yes, The Rub. Nice little indie song called The Death of Pop. It was really catchy. I loved it. From 1987's Bikini Gospel, Happy Squid Records. Up next, we have some talking heads, and we got some Scott and uh, Charlene's wedding and scientists, all that good stuff coming here at 88.3 FM. But first, Corrosion of Conformity, the song Positive Outlook is coming your way right now, because Tabe's like, this is a cool song, and I'm like, dang, you're right. So that's why this is going to be played right now. Thanks for the recommendation. If you ever want to recommend stuff, just call in at 951-827-5827. It's Corrosion of Conformity. Positive outlook.
Erosion of Conformity with their song Positive Elder. Du er fast. Du er fast. Fast du er fast. Technically indie. Yeah, I gotta say so.
I'm trying to find this really meme chick punk from Japan. I don't remember what they're called. Don't bother me either. Thank you. Scott and Charlene's Wedding is the name of that band. Their song Don't Bother Me was off their mid-30s single scene <laughs> from 2016 from Bedroom Suck and Fire Records. Before that, we were listening to uh, Talking Heads with their song Thank You for Sending Me an Angel from that single from 1978 from Sire Records. And for some reason, actually, Discog says they're from Germany, but uh, it's uh, clearly wrong. So anyways, it's uh, interesting indeed. Before that... Playing the recommendation that is going to take for the corrosions of conformity. The song Positive Outlook from their 1985 Animosity, Death, and Enigma records, later really re released by Caroline Roadrunner. A bunch of other cool stuff. Wow, Metal Blade. Interesting. Anyways, what do we have next here? I'll tell you what we have up next here. We have a new Mets song called Soft White Out. <clears throat> then we'll be playing some scientists and Swedish bands and other stuff here. But first, Mets! White out. Quite out. White out. The hard out.
the zone, the auto zone. Scientist Shadows of the Night is what we're going to play next for right now. Metz's Soft Whiteout is being played right now. And the newest record. That's something. Automat. Shadows of the Night.
everyone, 80.3 FM, Casey and Riverside, we're just listening to some nice, hardcore punk from Japan. Uh, the name of that band was Nurse. Uh, unfortunately, they're, they're, I don't actually have an English translation, it's all just in kanji, so I have no idea how to pronounce anything else, so... Sorry, guys. The, the name of the band was Nurse. Hopefully that helps. Uh, Flexi, I think, uh, the 7-inch from 1983 is what this is. Flexi? Yeah, I'm gonna... <clears throat> so that's all it kind of... Uh, tells me unfortunately the cool the cool thing the bad about <laughs> uh, international punk is that you know if it if it's underground enough and if it's in a foreign language it's just a double negative and nothing can be won from that oh well hopefully you guys have fun time watching that or listening to that before that was the scientist but they're catchy it's a really cool song shadow of the night is off their scientist album that came out in 1981 and uh, before that oh wait Else from EMI Custom Records, and before that was Mets with their newest song, Soft White Out's newest album, Auto Mat from 2019 from Sub Pop Records. Mets, of course, is super awesome. Uh, I got to see them live once. Uh, you know, they're just a really good borderline, I guess, like indie rock punk band. You know, you know the kind of bands. So they're really cool. I recommend for anyone who likes the kind of hard rock that you, you've listened to so far on the show or the. Okay, sometimes I do play indie and some hit you in the feels kind of songs. But besides that, you know, I usually try to play some hardcore. Like this next band, uh, Les Kia, uh, 14, Fast to Air Fast. And after that, I'm going to play some Radio Activity, Comeback Kid, maybe even the Joy Division if I have time. Finish off the show with some knots before the awesome uh, Garage Rocktopia guy comes in. Yes, this week is the Garage Rocktopia. I've actually kind of kept track. Last week was blues, so this week is Garage Rocktopia. All right, here at 80.3 FM, here's some... Fast, do fast. Last, last. Ta, Kai, Fast Kai, Fortune. Radioactivity, their song All Right from Radioactivity 2013.
at uh, 57, 57 and 6 seconds. What's up? Right there in the house. Hello, look, look we actually, land. I know we actually have the internet back on this yeah. week, so we're good to go. Woo, Woo internet land. Standing by. Da, 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 da. All right, now it's time to back announce before the end of my show and the beginning of the awesome Garage Rocktopia. Right now, you're listening to Come Back Kid, All in a Year is the name of the song from Turn It Around from uh, 2003 Face Down Records. Right now, uh, we're going to be playing Knots to finish off the set list with their song Woman Alone from Goner Records, is off their newest record, the Volume 3. Or just three? Yeah, exactly. Well, I guess you'll get to find out. But anyways, the Comeback Kid's finishing up knots as we're going to be playing until the end of the show. Before that, though, before Comeback Kid, I was playing Radioactivity with their song All Right Off the Radioactivity from 2013, Dirt Nap Records. And before even that, I was playing it, Let's Ka 14 with their song Fast Du Er Fast uh, off their 2017 album Bexvart from Second Class Kids Records, all the way from Sweden. All right, so that's the end of my show. Have a fun time, guys. We'll get to jam out next week and all that good stuff. Don't forget to like us on Facebook. I don't know, whatever. Anyways, have fun. Stay tuned. Peace. Peace.